Hello, and welcome to a POBYW Extra. The Straight A Dream of Fluffy and our new SEK champion Major Shadow have been feuding all the way since the middle of Season 2. Most of you have seen how the feud has developed in Season 3. This video will show you just how that feud began. Shadow made his on-screen debut during a battle royal to determine the number one contender to Grim Sweeper's title. Fluffy recognized Shadow as the one who shaved his head after he lost his hair in a title versus hair match. Shadow would go directly after Fluffy in this battle royal and would be the one to eliminate him. The reason I'm here is for you, Fluffy. Plain and simple. I've gone to combat. I've seen my friends get killed. All so you people could have freedom. And you go and use that freedom to cut yourself? Are you kidding me? You worry about the pain that you feel. Next time we get in the ring, I'm going to show you what true pain is. This is the POBYW SEK Championship, and I am the POBYW SEK Champion. And until somebody gets in the ring and beats me for it, this is the way it's always going to be. Because there isn't anybody in this Fed, especially not some new wannabe named Major Shadow. You'll be next. Fluffy and Shadow had their very first match together as Fluffy had introduced his own title belt and Shadow would be the first opponent to try and take it from him. At this point, the SCK title belt was not the officially recognized belt in PLBYW, but Fluffy acted like he was the champion even though at the time Sweeper was. The match would go back and forth, Fluffy underestimating the technical prowess of Shadow, but he would soon learn and feel just how skilled Shadow was. Fluffy would resort to underhanded tactics such as using the title belt, but Shadow was one step ahead of him and proved that he was not afraid to use some under -ta underhanded tactics of his own. The match would end when a groggy shadow would run into Fluffy's pet finisher, the Emover. As Fluffy was set to put his belt against Grim Sweeper's title plaque and a title unification bout, Shadow would attack. Why, oh why, did I attack Fluffy and Sweeper? It's real simple. Fluffy hired me. He gave me a lot of money to try and take Sweeper out. Guess he didn't think he can beat Sweeper. Why did I attack Fluffy? I can't stand him. I can't stand what he's about. Fluffy, this is just the beginning might be able to get that title, but can you hold on to it? I don't think so. Not the ball. Not the beer out. Fluffy would defeat KC to successfully defend his SEK title, but Shadow would attack post-match, continuing the brutal feud between the two competitors. Shadow would lock on his finisher, the Code of Honor which Fluffy was unable to get out of after wrestling a match. Shadow was proving to be the aggressor early on in this feud. So, it appears there's at least one wrestler in this fed who has some guts. 
Although it was kind of cowardly for you to attack me after a long, grueling match with KC. Anyway. Major Shadow, you are not getting a chance of my title because I've already beaten you and defended it. And it doesn't matter that it wasn't recognized at that point. I beat you. I pinned your shoulders to the mat. I counted to three. You took me by surprise in that match. You were a little more skilled than I thought. But you're no match for me. Nobody is. But I'm going to find someone much more worthy than you. Shadow would attack Fluffy once more, right as the Hedonist was about to take the title from Fluffy. Hedonist, of course, was not happy, but Fluffy was absolutely sick. Major Shadow, you are not my equal. You've brutalized me. My last two matches in a row... But it's never been face to face. You attack me after my match. You attack me in the middle of my matches. But we're gonna see what happens when I take you on face to face. And just to make sure that you have no excuse when I beat you for the second time, our title match will be no disqualification. So you bring whatever you need to bring, and you better believe I'm going to have some surprises. Fluffy, you are insane. You want to challenge me to a no DQ match for the belt? Do you want to wrestle anymore? Obviously not. That is my match. I will hurt you. I will break you. People have seen my moves. They know that I have a preferred wrestler that I model myself after. So, I'm going to borrow from him one more time. Fluffy, beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. in what many consider to be the greatest match of season two, the straight edge emo Fluffy and his now recognized SEK title belt win against Major Shadow in a no disqualification match. Both competitors used their surroundings to inflict punishment. The match quickly went to the outside and Major Shadow seemed to have the advantage. However, Fluffy would eventually get the advantage using the fence, brawling on the outside, and even resorting to using Grim Sweeper's old broom handle to try and take Shadow's head off. Fortunately for Shadow, he was unsuccessful. As things moved back to the trampoline, Shadow began working on Fluffy's extremities, trying to get a submission victory. Fluffy would miss his finisher, the Eve over, and eat a nasty back suplex. But this wasn't enough to put away the straight edge emo. A trash can lid was introduced by Shadow, but it was Fluffy who would use it. Over and over and over again. After an e over assisted by the trash can lid, Fluffy went in for the final strike.
for the second time in their rivalry, Fluffy was victorious over Major Shadow. Shadow would go against the Hedonist as part of a number one contenders tournament, but it would be Hedonist who would get revenge on Shadow for costing him the SEK title earlier in the season. It would not be Shadow, but Dark Phoenix, who would win the number one contenders tournament and face Fluffy for the SEK title. However, Shadow was able to use a loophole, remembering that Employee of the Month was still inside Fluffy's head, which distracted the straight edge emo just long enough for Dark Phoenix to hit his finisher, the sword stab double axe handle. That momentary distraction was enough, and after a second sword stab, Dark Phoenix became the new SEK champion, and Major Shadow got the last laugh for season two.